includes everything that is Christmas. The National Christmas Center in Middletown, PA is an 18,000 square feet nostalgic Christmas experience. The sights and sounds of the holidays will bring back fond memories of yesteryear. Well, welcome, welcome. We're glad to have you here today and showcase our 20,000 square feet of Christmas, everything dealing with Christmas. Let's start our tour right now. This is the first place that you see when you come here. Right, there's eight rooms in here, and each room has a theme with it, mm -hmm. from the 1950s to the Christmas movie, to Santa Clauses, to all kinds of different things. But there's so much here, and we can't wait to show everyone, so let's go. Let's go. Here we are in some of the old streets of Columbia, downtown Columbia in the 1950s. And one of the first stores you're at here is the Woolworth store. Remember, Mr. Woolworth's first store was in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I did not know that. And boy, this looks just like we're in an old-fashioned store. Everything in here is vintage, wow. in original packaging, most of it. Very rare to find things like this, but Mr. Morrison started collecting these things a long time ago, knowing that he wanted a Woolworth store. And talk about some of the few highlights here. Well, there's so many different things. There's different garlands and ornaments. Woolworth was known as a Christmas store because he was the one that first brought ornaments to America against his better judgment when he went to Germany looking for toys. And everybody said, I remember this, I remember that. They've forgotten it for years, but as soon as they see it. And yes. then they said, where did you get so many of those in the original box? I like this street too, John. This is a wonderful street of Columbia in the 1950s of all the shops that we have here. We have the Buyer's Choice over here collection. We have trains on the other side, but it's, a, it's like shopping in the 1950s with it, all the decorations. It is, and the way everything's displayed, it, it's absolutely magnificent. What do we have here? We have an old tin toy shop. Wow. Old tin toys were the first popular toy for uh, boys and girls in mm -hmm. the early days. And what's amazing is that so many of them are already gone because during the war efforts, they would scrap these for scrap metal for the war efforts. So not all of them have survived. There's a lot of Santas in this shop. This is our Santa maker. She's sitting there in the corner sewing, but these are all Santas that were made by people to represent how Santa looks and belongs to them. I love this. And what do we have over on this side? This is the old store that used to be down in Ocean City in New Jersey, and it was a toy store. Her name was Jane Schlosser, and she sold lots of toys, but she kept the ones that didn't sell because she loved them so much. Wow. That's why we have them here today. This is Joe the Motor's friend. It was a store in Harrisburg, Middletown, and Camp Hill. On the one side of the store were anything a man might want for cars, radios, that kind of thing. On the other side was toys, and special toys. Joe thought it would be a good idea if he had a Santa Claus so people would come to see Santa, and if they were good, they'd get a good conduct medal. And the little boy that we have the picture of up here got his good conduct medal for 11 years. Really? Yes, and you know who he is. I know who he is. He is you, John. That's right. <laughs> and the picture of me there is when I was three with Santa, and below it is a Howdy Doody record player that Santa Claus brought for me when I was four the next year. That is a treasure that you have that it's able to be displayed here. It's good to show it off to people. Here at the candy and sweet shop, you're going to pass the soda fountain as you come into the candy store, so if you feel a little hungry, it looks like you're going to come in here and even be more hungry because nothing is real. <laughs> but we have a, a candy store over here representing Meesey Candies from Lancaster. We also have a bakery behind us, which is Byers Bakery, which was in Columbia, and they were known for the Dewey Bun. It's kind of like a sticky bun. When Christmas comes to Tudor Town, a Sunday So tell us about this beautiful little town. Well, this is Tudor Town. It's a, a town in the woods with animals celebrating Christmas for the first time. Uh, some of the animals are not so happy about having to work on it, so they try to sabotage it, but good comes over evil and it all ends up well. It's beautiful, and of course, if you listen carefully, you can hear a beautiful song about Tudor Town that plays as you walk through the display. Written just for this, to bring the children out and all of us. Yes. And now we're in the most important room here at the Christmas Museum. The whole reason about Christmas. 
We're in the nativity room. We have hundreds and hundreds of nativities. We probably have about 6,000 on display here. We go from the life size, which are cast from real people, all the way down to a nativity in a nutshell. We're trying to make sure that we have every country represented, so we're still looking for some. John, thank you so much for giving us a tour here at the National Christmas Center. This place is absolutely phenomenal. You could spend hours and hours in here, and it just brings everybody so much joy. We're located in Elizabethtown, and to find out about us, you just go on to Stone Gables Estates, and they'll have a part there that talks about the National Christmas Center. Thank you, John, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, and we're going to leave you with a little present before you go. Okay. Stay with us because when we come back, we're going to meet one of the masterminds behind the Peckville Christmas House. And I've got a few questions for him. I bet you do. Don't go away.